The old saying goes, bowling is 95% mental, 5% physical. Is that true? I think it is. Stay tuned, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Hey guys, J.R. Raymond here, back again at the training center at TurboTech inside at Chesterfield, Michigan. <clears throat> one of the big things, one of the first things that I want to talk about is visualization. We're going to touch on a lot of mental game preparation, a lot of mental toughness stuff. Um, and one of the big key components to your mental game would be visualization. What I mean by this is actually seeing what you want to happen um, before you actually make it happen. So the next time you're practicing, standing on the approach or even behind the approach, I would suggest doing it behind the approach before you're on the approach. See your ball hitting your target, moving down that path towards your break point. Watch your ball go through the pins, knocking all the pins down at the right entry angle with the correct ball roll. Everything that you want to happen, see it happen first. Our mind is tricky. Our mind is very complex and it only works on how you think. You know, it's why you see so many people talk about the, the, the power of positive thinking. Like people become positive because they're, not, they're thinking nothing but positive. And then the people who are negative, trust me, I've been there, are thinking of nothing but negative things. They think the world's out to get them. So when it comes to bowling, it's no different. You have to see the positive things happen before you actually make it happen. I know a lot of people have gone up and they've missed a spare or something, and then the very next time they leave that same spare, the first thing that pops in their head is, oh, I just missed this thing, I really don't wanna shoot it again. And what happens? Most times, they screw up, they, they miss it again. You know, so <clears throat> it's, it's, the visualization is making sure you see things, you see the positive things happening before you actually can make them happen. One of the books I read was called uh, Mind Gym by Gary Mack. And he talks about uh, uh, two basketball teams who are going to have a free throw shooting contest. The one team spends a half an hour visualizing and seeing themselves making free throw after free throw. And then they spend the last half hour practicing physically shooting free throws. The other team just goes straight to the gym and they practice for a full hour just shooting free throws. Can you imagine which team won? The team, of course, who visualized and then practiced are, is the team that won by a landslide. It wasn't even close. So there is, there, there's all kinds of studies that have been done that show that, that visualization and uh, how you control the things you can control um, play a big, big factor in how successful you wanna be. And it's not just bowling, it's not just any sport, it's, it's life in general. If you wanna be successful at anything you're doing, you have to see yourself being successful. You have to see yourself doing those things first before you can actually go and do them. Uh, the people who do that the most are always gonna be the more successful people. When you talk about the guys that are out on tour, these guys are bowling and you look at everybody that's out there, everybody knows where their ball's going, everybody can hit a target, everybody throws it really, really good. So why is it that certain people are winning a ton and other people aren't? Well, it all comes back to the mental game. Some people are much better at controlling the mental side and controlling the controllables and letting the other variables that you can't control go. Whereas the rest of us, we have trouble letting those negative things impact our life, impact our game way too often. So the next time you're practicing, make sure you go, you step up there, see your ball going on the path you want it to go on, watch your ball go through the pins, watch your ball do everything you want it to do the correct way before you step up and actually do it. This is one of those cool things. You can practice this at home. You don't even have to be on the lanes. You can be laying in bed and just visualize yourself being successful. Visualize yourself making the perfect shot over and over again, making the perfect ball roll, making the perfect tilt, whatever you wanna create, you can create it in your mind before you go and do it. The more you see it, the more, the more chance of success you're gonna have. So that's just my tip for the day. I hope this helps. I'm going to have a whole lot more videos coming out about the mental game, the physical game, educational aspects of bowling. Hopefully we can help as many people get better as we can. Um, and if it does help you, just let me know, you know, and let other people know. Make sure you subscribe to this page. Uh, if you got any questions, you can make sure to comment below or you can shoot me an email at jrraymond at turbogrips.com and I'll try to get back to everything as quick as I can. Um, but for now, this is... Um, my first video and hopefully you guys tune in to the next couple of videos that we've got going on so until next time guys we'll see you later take care